got a nice number of saints that uh, fought through the weather and made it on out. Thank the Lord. And it's good to be here this evening. Thank the Lord. And we thank God for uh, the excitement of salvation, right? Happy in the Lord anyway, right? Thank the Lord. It's good to be here. It's good to be saved. And let us look to the Lord in prayer. Let's trust him for the answering of our prayer, saints. Not just to uh, do this because it's time, but let's actually believe that he will answer our prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you, dear God, Lord, for grace, for power, for love, for peace. Lord, you just pour so much on us, dear God. There is no way we can name it all, dear God. We thank you for that. Thank you for loving us and thinking of us, Lord. Who are we that you're mindful of us, Lord? My God, we thank you, Lord God, for watching over us all day, even over, over the roads and all, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for your hand of protection. My God, thank you, Lord. Uh, we have food to eat, Lord. And my God, it's cold outside, but Lord, you give us places we can go inside. And Lord, we thank you for that, dear God. Lord, we want to continue to uh, just praise you, Lord, for all you've done for us, Lord. And Lord, we're praying, dear God, that you would continue to bless, Lord, those who are bereaved, Lord, going through things, Lord. My God, some have financial issues, uh, physical, mental issues, emotional issues, Lord God. Lord, we're praying, dear God, that we know that you are God who cares about our entire team. Lord, so have your wonderful way this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And that's right. We pray in Jesus' name, don't we, saints? Because uh, he was there from the beginning, wasn't he? You know, we live in a world that wants to, you know, a lot of people want to say God, right? They don't mind saying God. But we say God also, isn't that right? But we also say Jesus, don't we? Yeah. He's a he's the author and finisher of our faith, isn't he? Yeah, amen. yeah, we don't we don't just we're not leaving him out. That's the important part. He is the propitiation, isn't he? Yeah. Amen. We thank God. Let's go over here to uh, John, the first chapter, and we're going to start reading at verse number one, please. I want to show you something here that you can't exclude Jesus. Come on. In the beginning was the word. Yes. And the word was with God. Now, from the very beginning, from the very beginning, Jesus never not existed. So when was the beginning? I can't, you, you, this is when you start blowing, blowing minds here. You'll blow a gasket trying to figure this out. I mean, have you ever tried to think of when the beginning was? Did that ever hit your mind? Like, okay, hold up. So, Beginning of time, we can get that. But when did God start? Wait, that question is invalid. How do I, you know, you, you, he never was never. <laughs> you, you can't think of it. But the word was with God and what? And the word was God. Have you ever read the scripture that God said to the son, thy throne, O God, is forever? And the word was God. Come on. The same was in the beginning with God. Yes, it was. What? All things were made by him. All things were made by him. And without him, and was, without not, him was not anything made. There was nothing made that was that made. Was ever made. Is anything existing that was never made? Everything that you see, think, feel, whatever was made at one point, and Jesus was there for it all. Come on. In him was life. Yes. And the life was the light of men. In him was life, and thank God, the, and that life was the light. The, the Father sent the Son to be that light for us, for man. Isn't that right? Come on. And the light shineth in darkness. Yes, it does. And the darkness and the comprehended dark it not. So I wanted us to see from the very start, Jesus was there. And that's what he's talking about, the word. Jesus was there from the very beginning. Where are you going with this, Brother Arnold, as we turn to Genesis 1? Where are you going with this, Brother Arnold? There, is, there are forces and influences in this messed up world that's trying to say Jesus was not there. They're trying to say that he did. There's, there's no such thing as Jesus. No such thing as Jesus. Um, uh, they're trying to, I, I heard some people trying to say, how can a God, how can a God come down here in the form of man and be God? That's because they don't understand what his mission was. Isn't that right? 
They don't get what his mission was. He had to come that way for me and you and defeat sin in the flesh, didn't he? He had to do that. However, that's not the end of the story. Let's go here to uh, Genesis 1 and 26. What does the Bible say? And God said, God said, let us stop. I want to show you something here. There's more to it than just let us. But he said, let us. That's very significant. What does he say? Let us what? Let us make man. Anything that was made, he was part of making it. Tell him about Jesus. Who is he talking to? Let us make man. He's talking to the Godhead, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Let us make man. I'm going to show you biblical proof. What does he say? Let us make man yes. in our in image. In our image. And after our and likeness. After our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Yes. And over the fowl of the air. Yes. And over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Isn't that amazing? So you all, I want you all, you got to stay with me now because we're getting ready to go somewhere. God said, I want us to do this and let them be made in our image, didn't he? Yeah. Now, the title of this uh, uh, lesson message tonight is, what's in a name? Does names, do names have significance? Right? Some people name their children, you know, with a lineage of names, right? Your last name may connect you back to your ancestors, right? Your, your first name may have come from somebody special that your parents, grandparents, great-grandparents thought were significant, right? Well, we know that in the name of, uh, of Jesus, that's how we pray, isn't it? And, and God amplified his son, didn't he? Didn't he? He sent him, and he, uh, see, God was, he, he's so, so pure, he himself, the father, couldn't deal with sin. So he said, listen, who could, who could do this for me? Who, who could bridge that gap? And, and him and Jesus had the conversation I told you about before, and Jesus said, I'll do it. However, from the beginning of creation, Jesus was there. What is verse number one? Remember, the title is, what's in the name? What does the first verse say? In the beginning, what? God. Stop. Look that word up, God. In the beginning, God. What's the Hebrew word for God right there? It's very, very significant. So, so what happened was this. You know, here I was sitting in Starbucks, Starbucking. And, <laughs> and, and, and one, of the, one of the people I know, you know, uh, uh, they... they they're they always trying to poke holes because they know my testimony. Well, let's have a talk. And then the person came to me and they said, oh, you know, it's quite interesting that it says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And he was looking at it as God being singular. Yeah, see, see, you all say, you Christians say, because this person is not a Christian, you all say God you, it's singular. He, he created the heaven. But if you look up that Hebrew word, it's Elohim. What does that mean? G-O-D-S. I said, man, you ain't missed the mark. I said, man, you so right because Jesus was there when he did it. You are 100% right. It's God's. <laughs> I said, man, you, you ain't doing nothing but helping me out. It's Elohim. It's God. What's in the name? What's in the name? Elohim. Gods. You go over to 26, you'll see it in action. Let us. Isn't that right, saints? What's in the name? Amen, saints of God. We ain't missing nothing. We ain't, listen, we ain't, we ain't just beating the air. We know what we're talking about. We're not lost. We're not tripped up. We know Jesus was there from the beginning. We know that. Had every bit to do with creation of everything that exists, including us. Isn't that right, saints? Oh, we thank God for the truth. All it does, saints, 
It just shows, uh, shows the Godhead in action. Isn't that right? Oh, we thank God for that. Let's, let's look. So, so you can see which way we're going tonight. What's in the name? Names have meaning. Isn't that right? Let's go over to Exodus 6. Names. What's in the name? Amen. You know, when, when, uh, when, when you're married, you want to be able to identify who's related to whom. Your children. They, they, you know, you want to you be able to identify who's related to whom. Isn't that right? Names mean something. That's right. Even the names of animals, they have meaning. Isn't that right? Amen. So, we, so they're not insignificant. Amen. Thank God. All right, let's go over here to Exodus 6, starting at verse 1. Then the Lord said unto Moses. What did he say to Moses? Now shalt thou see what I will do to mm -hmm. Pharaoh. For with a strong hand yes. shall he let them go. So, so, so you remember how a guy was doing, we did a whole Sunday school thing on this, right? With, with Pharaoh, man, that man was messed up. But think about what God said. God said, listen, I set Pharaoh up for this purpose. Moses, Moses, this is what I need you and Aaron to do. You're going to go to him and you're just going to say to him one time, let my people go. Didn't God tell him that? As soon as he rejected them, God said, that's it. Locked him up. He couldn't let the people go. God said, I set him up. I made him for this purpose. Isn't that amazing, saints? I'm like thanking God he ain't make me for that purpose. It don't make sense for us to sit here and rebel against God and be another Pharaoh example. That don't make no sense. Mama Mia. Isn't that right, saints? My God. Why would I be rebellious and, and mess around and be like Pharaoh and be cut off? But for this purpose, Pharaoh was raised up. And then I like how the New Testament picked it up and said, then you'll say to him, I can't help it. You made me like this. And then the Bible turned around and said, who are you to reply against God? I'm saying all this for a reason because there's another name here. Who, who are you to reply against God who made him for this purpose? My God. He, he is everything, isn't he, saints? He don't need to check in with nobody. Listen to me. The Holy Ghost had to check in. Jesus said he will speak what I said. Jesus had to check in. He said, if I testify myself, I'm lying. God the Father didn't have to check in. Isn't that right? So he says, then the, the Lord said to Moses, what? For with a strong hand, Shall he let them go? With a strong hand, he's going to let them go. And with a strong and hand, what? shall he drive them out when of his I'm land? When I'm done with him, he's going to release them and almost kick them out. But you see that he wasn't healed because he still chased them. Didn't he? All right, we're going to focus on Pharaoh. We're talking about God. Come on. And God spake unto Moses what did God say and to said Moses? unto him, what? I am the Lord. Wait, 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 wait. So when you see this in the Old Testament, when God pulls out a name, that means something. He don't just say that in an empty vacuum. He said, wait, wait, wait. Read verse 2 again. What? And God spake unto Moses. Who was he talking to? Unto Moses. Do you remember what, how Moses' reaction was when God first told him to go? He was scared. I don't talk well. And God said, me being God, let me see. Let me see if I have a solution for that. Okay, Moses, I'm making you God. Aaron is your, is your what? He's your prophet. <laughs> God told him, you're God now. And he's your prophet. What, what you tell him to say, he'll speak for you. You ain't got to worry about talking well. How did Moses, Moses, how you get the title God? God gave it to me. How, you, how are you God? Because God said I am. Isn't that amazing? You, you, can't, you can't do nothing with him. Verse 2 says what? And God spake unto God Moses. God spake to Moses. And said unto he him. He said to him what? I am I the Lord. I am 
the Lord what? Watch this. And I appeared unto Abraham. I appeared to Abraham. Unto Isaac. I appeared to Isaac. And unto Jacob. I appeared to Jacob. By the name, by the name of God, God Almighty. Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. If you look at history, that last part is more of a question. Like, by the name Jehovah, was I not known to them? Because that name Jehovah was used before. However, right here he says, and, and, and unto Jacob, by the name, what? Of God, God Almighty. Almighty. El Shaddai. When he told them, he said, listen, I want you to know something here. When I send you, saints, you're going to ask, they're going to ask you, by what authority do you think you are? Who do you think, who is you speaking through? You'll say, El Shaddai. Who is that? That's God Almighty. He's got it all. Isn't that right, saints? It don't make a difference what we're facing. Sister Maria, don't make a difference what you're facing. I know you're going through a lot, but look who you serve. God Almighty. Man, Moses went, man, he said, man, listen, God, I grew up there. That man would chop my head off. God said, listen, but when you go in my name, God Almighty, he can't touch you. Isn't that right, saints? So who should I say sent me? You tell him El Shaddai. Amen. You tell him Elohim. That's who you tell him. Isn't that right, saints? That what's in the name? There's power in the name. Amen. There's deliverance. We're going to see. There's deliverance in the name. Isn't that right, saints? Amen. We're not, we're not uh, 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 worshiping some invisible God and we're beating the air. Huh. Isn't that right? What's in the name? Has he ever delivered you? He ain't got a name for that. Has he ever healed you physically? Physically. There's a name for that. What about mentally? Has he ever healed you? There's a separate name for that. <laughs> oh, we thank God. What's in the name? Everything's in the name. Oh, we thank God. Says, I tell you what, when I, when I think about salvation, I'm not playing. I mean, this thing for real. Pastor Duke's not talking. I told him, Pastor, I'm sold out. I Man, listen, I'm sold out. How about it, saints? Amen. Sister Tanya, I don't want another life. I'm not looking for another life. Is that right, saints? You got to settle like that? Don't worry about what you're going through, Sister Deborah. El Shaddai's got your back. Isn't that right, saints? My God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go over here to Genesis 22. Let's do a little, let's do a little uh, research here. Lord, help us. When we're done tonight, saints, when you go on your knees and pray in the name of Jesus, you can call him, you can call him whatever registers with you tonight. You can call him that. And he'll deliver according to, and listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to caution you right now. I'm just scratching the surface. I don't have time, Brother John, to go through all he is to us by all the names. I don't have that type of time. My God, when you take the time to look and see all that he's been to us, he has a lot of names. Isn't that right? Genesis 22. Let's start at verses 1 through 3. And it came to pass after these things that what? God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham. And he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac. Now, now you remember what he was doing, wasn't he? He was taking his son and to, to be a sacrifice. He's going to kill him. Isn't that right? And then where are you now, my sister? Verse number two. Yes. And he said... Take now thy son. Take your son. Thine only son, yes, Isaac. Yes. Whom thou lovest. Who you love. And get thee into the land of Moriah. Yes. And offer him there for a burnt offering. Come on. Upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. Come on. And Abraham rose up early question, in the morning. Saints. For real. Don't give me just some canned answer. 
that, that you know you should respond to this question. But I want to know from the saints of God, has God ever required a sacrifice from you? And when he, and when he required that sacrifice, has he ever replaced it with a blessing? Has God ever done that for you? Have you experienced that yet? Where God tells you to sacrifice a certain area here, and then he overflows you with something. I'm talking to the saints of God tonight. Amen. There's no big, there's no sacrifice too big for us to, when he asks for us. Isn't that right, saints? Okay, with that in mind, let's go. Verse 3. And Abraham rose up early in the morning yes. and saddled his ass Come on. and took two of his young men with yes, him. Yes, he did. He and, did according to what he heard. Come on. And Isaac, his son. And, and all he was doing, Sister Crystal was saying, I believe this is the way God want me to take. Come on, you all. Saddle up. Let's go. Not all the excuses. Why do I have to do this? And what? Because I'm a servant of God. He's asking me to do this. This is the way I believe he wants me to move. Isn't that right? Come on. And clave the wood for the burnt offering. Yes. And rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Amen. Now let's go to verse 8. And Abraham said, What? My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them, together. Because the son, as you all remember, he had questions. You mean to tell me you're so spiritual and you see your death, you won't have questions. We see questions when God requires things of us, don't he? And we're questioning, why me, God? Because it's time for you to be promoted. So I'm going to take you through. You're complaining too much, so I'm going to burn it out of you. Don't you want to? You said you want to be more like Jesus. This is what you got to do. And what do we do? Many times we take us through things, we're complaining. You have questions. Isn't that right, saints? But wait a minute now. What does he say? And Abraham said, my son, God will provide himself a lamb He's for a burnt offering. He's going to provide something for himself. Isn't that right? Now let's go to verse 10. And Abraham stretched forth his hand. He did. And took the knife. He took the knife. To slay his son. He was son. moving in faith. Saints, sometimes you really are cloudy and you're just obeying. You're not sure of the outcome but you're obeying God. I'm not sure how this is going to come out, but Lord, I need an answer. He's looking at his only son. Lord, I need an answer. You're looking at something that's precious to you. Lord, I need an answer. Isn't that right? God, are you, is this you? I'll do it if you're telling me to give this up. If you're telling me this is the way, I'll do it, Lord. But wait a minute. Let's go. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven. Yes, he did. And said, Abraham, Abraham. Abraham. Yes. And he said, here am, here am I. I. What? And he said, lay not thine hand upon Don't the do lad. It. Don't go that way. Neither do I thou anything unto him. I see that I have him. a saint that's willing to do what I ask them to do. I see that I have a saint that's willing to sacrifice ultimately to please me. Don't do it that way. He says what? Neither do thou anything unto him. Yes. For now I See, saints, know. God don't just try to hurt us just to hurt us. This is the harder way, so I want you to go. No, he has an a end in mind, doesn't he? And he says what? What verse are we on? Verse number 12. Come on. For now I know yes. that thou fearest God. Yes. Seeing thou hast not withheld thy son. Come on. Thine only, Your son, only son from me. From me. Is there anything, saints, that we're holding from him? Put it all out there. Don't let it be that anything is too much, that you can't sacrifice our life, our time, our all, our mouth, our attitude, everything. What, what can we sacrifice? Amen. Isn't that right? Sometimes God sends things before you can kill the sacrifice. He'll send things, tests and trials, because you don't even know it's in you. And then through the pressure of that test and trial, something rises up. He said, I want that. Isn't that right? Come on. And Abraham I'm lifted lazy. up his eyes. I'm not on time. I don't, I, I'm, Lord, I, I, I'm, I'm harming your testimony, Lord, as being late, and I'm, 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 not, I'm not on time. God will say, he'll talk to us. Listen, saints, I'm telling you, he did this for me concerning Sunday school when I was a convert. And somebody, I've been here for about a year or so, and somebody invited me to Sunday school. I was like, that's so ridiculous. 
Why do I have to be invited to Sunday school when I'm part of the congregation? Hello. <laughs> Go ahead, Brother Arnold. Talk some more. Hold up. Just let that sink in. All right. Let's go. Where are we? Verse 13. Come on. And Abraham lifted up his eyes. Abraham lifted, what's in the name? He lifted up his eyes. And looked. What? And behold, behind him, a ram there was a ram in a thicket oh, by his horns. Oh, thank th God. He, God did something. What did he do? Come on, let's keep reading. And Abraham went and took the ram yes. and offered him we up know for a burnt part. offering Read on. Yes. in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place. What? Jehovah Jireh. Whoa. What's in the name? What's in the name? What did he say? Read that again. And Abraham called the name of that place. What? Jehovah Jireh. And why? Keep reading. As it is said to this day. This day. In the mount of the Lord. Come on. It shall be seen. And why did he call it that? Jehovah. God. Jireh. Provides. Wait a minute, Lord. Not only with the test. Listen to me, saints. You don't have to go through your tests and trials by yourself. That's why we fail so much. But we go through with God, saints. Jehovah Jireh. He will provide a way for us to successfully sacrifice. And not only that, so many of us, we look at Jehovah Jireh. He's going to provide a way. He's going to give me a house. He's going to give me a car. No, this is about sacrifice. Do you ever get tired of yourself? I'm going to talk to these few saints. You all ever get tired of yourself? Yeah. Lord, let me be more like Jesus. Have you ever asked him for real? Let me be more like Jesus, Lord. Have you asked him, have you asked him that? Instead of being shallow and walking the far off. But Lord, let me be more like Jesus. Lord, I don't know how to do it. I, I, I trip over myself all the time. And I find myself right back at the same place. But Jehovah Jireh, he'll provide, saints. He'll provide a way for us to sacrifice successfully. Isn't that right? And not only that, he'll provide for our life too. Everything pertaining to life and godliness. I thank God, saints. I don't have, listen, I'm a grown man and I don't have to think about tomorrow. Jesus said, you don't even have to take a thought on what's going to happen tomorrow. I got you. El Shaddai has got you, saints. God Almighty has got you, saints. And what will he do if he allows us to see another day? Then El Shaddai will be your Jehovah Jireh. Won't he, saints? Oh, he will provide. He said... I will provide, I'll take care of your every, every what? Need. Do you believe it, saints? Oh, yes. What's in the name? He, 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 he's for real about the relationship. Isn't he, saints? He's for real. He loves us for real. He thinks about you and you and you and you. Do you ever wake up in the morning and he's on your mind? That's because he's thinking about you. Let me ask you a question. For real, do you love God? Do you love God? That's because he first loved us. We ain't know how to love. But he provided a way to show us how to love. Showed us how to love. Jehovah Jireh. Oh, he provides. Look, look, not only spiritually, but haven't you ever experienced the way out of no way? The back against the wall. The answer needed now. Have you experienced those things? And all you see is the hand of Jehovah Jireh coming through, brother. That's what you see. That's what you see. You're back pressed. You're tempted. The devil's telling you to do this. Say that. Do this. Say that. But God provides a way. Didn't he say, I'll, with the temptation, I'll make a way. I'll be your Jehovah Jireh. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. 
My God, thank you. Saints, I was talking to the Lord this morning. I was like, God, honestly, I don't know a time in my life that I was without him. You got to understand the God that we serve, saints, he, he respects ignorance. I was just an ignorant young man, and I didn't want to be a sinner. I didn't, but I didn't know the way. But I saw the hand of Jehovah Jireh. He showed me the way, saints. He showed me the way. My God, he kept me from so much evil. Before I learned the way, he kept me from so much evil. I lived in the midst of evil. I could have got into any sin I wanted to get into, but I didn't want it. But I didn't have strength at the same time. But God, listen to this. He provided a way. He gave me songs. He knows I'm musically. So back then they wrote songs for real. And the songs they wrote, they helped me stay saved, saints. Or, or, I don't know. Somebody will say, well, you weren't saved. You weren't here. I don't agree with that. How can I live all that I know without the power of God? <laughs> yeah, I had a girlfriend out there, but God said you can't touch her and you can't look at her. I said before I step a foot in here. You serious? Jehovah Jireh, brother. Man, she got up to walk away. God said, you can't look at her. Do you hear me? Huh. Come on now. Providing a way. You're losing time with me, talking about you saved, and God don't talk to you. You don't know right from wrong. You're wasting time with me. Wasting time. Wasting time, brother. I know how faithful he is. Oh, he provides. God provides a way, saints. Oh, what's in the name? He'll provide, saints, doesn't he? You know, what he? you know what he'll do? He'll see it through. Won't he see us through, saints? Hasn't he done that for you? Don't, listen, don't live beneath your privilege. Jump in with both feet. The benefit package is ridiculous. Come on, saints. Don't live this on your own. Oh, I thank God for this. I thank God. What's in the name? My God, I thank God for, for how he just provides for us, saints, over and over and over again, doesn't he? Let's go to Exodus 17. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you know that uh, 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 back in the day, he wasn't called Jesus? The name Jesus is about, that's English. It's only about 400 and something years old. You look at the name Joshua, you're getting closer. It don't matter. He's still Savior. That's what it all translates to. Isn't that right, saints? Man, I'm telling you, saints, he, <laughs> that's all he does is keep making a way. That's all he does. Let's go here to uh, Exodus 17, starting at verse 8. Then came Amalek and yes. fought with Israel he at fought Rephidim. with Israel, yes. And Moses said unto Joshua, What did he say? Choose us out men. Yes. And go out. Fight with Amalek. Yes. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in mine hand. Come on, come on, come on. So Joshua Choose did out. as Listen, Moses. Saints, first of all, we're not backing down from fights. Let me tell you something, saints. To be a soldier in the Lord, you can't be backing down from fights. Did you hear me? You cannot be backing down from fights. When it's time for, for a spiritual fight, saints, and the devil is tempting and backing you up in the wall, don't you get all mealy mouth and all scared? You rise up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and say, by the grace of God, I'm going to make it. By the grace of God, I'm going to learn how to take it. So Moses, he stood up, brother. They were in the bath. He said, listen, let's go. Isn't that right? Let's go read it. So what, Joshua, what? verse 10. So Joshua did as Moses had said unto him. What? And fought with Amalek. He fought. Come on. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. Yes, and they did. And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand. When his hands were up. 
that Israel prevailed. Israel, they were winning when his hands were up. Is that right? Come on. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Yes. So but, and when Moses let his hands down, the enemy started to prevail. Isn't that right? Come on. But Moses' hands were heavy. His hands were heavy. Let me ask you something. Do you ever get weary in the fight? Oh, I think you all just wasn't ready for me to ask that question. I know I do. Do you ever get weary in the fight? <sighs> Lord, 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 help me, Lord. Help me to hold out. Lord, help me to hold out until my change comes. Lord, is there any, is there relief this day? God, God, helper of the helpless, Lord, would you please abide with me? Lord, would you, I do, I need extra grace today, Lord. Things seem to not be going well, Lord, and I need your, I need, but what I want to do is represent you through it all. I don't want to fail you, God. I don't want to fail you, but I need help. And you get weary in the fight. And Moses' hands, what? But Moses' hands were heavy. They were heavy. Come on. And they took a stone. They took a stone. And put it under You got to make, you got to sometime improvise. Let me, I got to, I got to improvise. I can't hold them up on my own. I got to improvise. Sometimes saints, we got to call for reinforcement. Sister Regina, please, listen, I have a prayer request, please. Saints, would you please hold me up? Would you please pray for me? No, no, no. I'm talking about the saints, the real saints. Would you pray for me, please? Sometimes, brother, I gotta, you got to call on reinforcement. So he got his guys to help his arm. Isn't that right? Come on. And they took a stone and put it under they him. They took a stone. They put it under him. And he sat thereon. Yes. And Aaron and her. And both of his guys. Stayed up his hand. They helped keep his hands up. And they needed a rock and a stone to help support. Because keeping your arms up with no support, that's weary. Isn't that right? Sometimes, saints, we need a little help keeping our arms up. Isn't that right? Lord, if I drop my arms, I, I go down. But Lord, by your grace, I don't want to drop my arms. Lord, send me the right help. Lord, give me the help I need. Isn't that right, saints? Sometimes we got to call on them. Lord, give me the help I need. If you don't help me, Lord, you know me. You know my frame. I'll fail. Lord, help me. Oh, God, help me. Sometimes, saints, we're just human. We get, in the, we get into something and depression and emotions and things can get to us. Isn't that right? <laughs> Those of you who ain't experienced it yet, you pray for me. Huh. What verse were you on, my sister? Verse 12. Come on. And Aaron and her stayed up his hands. Yes. The one on the one side and the other on the other side. That's right. And his hands were steady. And his hands were what? His hands were steady. They were steady. Until Un what? Until the going down of going the sun. Going down of the sun. They were helping out, saints. That's why, saints, when we're here, we need, that's why, first of all, we need to be here. Many of you out here going through things by yourself. And then later on, we find out so and so, so and so. With this, I can't tell you the number of times we hear people going through something. Did they talk to you? Did they talk to you? And we don't know anything about it. Why are you doing that? When he said, I put you together uh, for an habitation for me, and I made you sit together in heavenly places. No man liveth unto himself, the Bible says. We are meant to be together. Call on reinforcement. You out there, now you're living less than a saint because you didn't follow the Bible of saying in a multitude of counselors. You're doing it on your own now. Now you're living less than a saint because you didn't call on the reinforcement. Saints, we need help. It's okay. You're not less than a woman. You're not less than a man. Sometimes we need help. Isn't that right? Come on. What does he say? And Joshua discomfited Emily. Yes, he did. And his people. And his people. With the edge they of the sword. They stopped whooping them up because the hand stayed up. And God says, hasn't he come through? Reinforcement. I remember going through one of my hardest tests in my life. 
and bro, brother, and the saints were praying for me. My wife was helping me out, brother, and, and the devil messed around, held up just enough for me to get encouragement, to get grace. I said, bring it on now, brother. God done gave me grace. Amen. Lord, don't move the mountain. Just give me strength to climb. Isn't that right? That's when you know a, a mature saint has got it now, but they're like, listen, listen, it's on now. The fight is on, old Christian soldier. Come on. And what? And the Lord said unto the Lord Moses, said to Moses, write this for a memorial he said, write it down. in a book. Yes. And rehearse it in the and ears of Joshua. And I want you Joshua. to be able to tell the others all about it. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Emily from under heaven. When I'm done heaven. fighting for you, your enemy will be utterly destroyed. Come on, not even remember. Wiped. Come on. And Moses built an altar. He built an altar. And called the name of it. What did he call? What's in the name? What did he call it? Jehovah Nisi. He's our banner. He's our banner, saints. He's our representation. So, so listen, I'm going to tell you what the Lord has done for me by holding up this banner. This banner represents victory. It represents a God that cannot fail. It represents God that answers prayer. It represents God that has sent help when needed. Jehovah Nisi. Isn't that right, saints? For he said, he said because listen, the Lord. It's a, it's a signal because the that Lord. he puts over us. He said, what now? Because the Lord Be hath sworn yes. that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Listen, listen. Don't we, we serve a God, saints, that cannot fail. And his banner, his signal, what he represents, saints, God, when he's done with us, people will know. When you're walking down the street, they'll see the banner of God over you. That's a person you don't want to mess with. That's a saint right there. You better be careful how you treat them. You, in, fact, in, fact, in fact, saints, you'll find yourself praying that God won't blow somebody away. Lord, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. The way they treat me, Lord, don't take, don't take them out. Forgive them, Lord. I've had to pray that for people before. I was like, Lord, the way that they're doing me, I'm not holding anything. God has given me victory over holding people. Hello? That should be our testimony. You shouldn't be walking around holding people. Not with that type of banner over you. Isn't that right? And, and let's, listen, I found myself, people are treating me so, so nasty, brother. I found myself praying for, Lord, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know, they don't know they're messing around with a saint. We're special. Isn't that right? Jehovah Nisi. That's my daughter. That's my son. That's my warrior. They, repre they represent me, and I'm representing them. Well, how about that, saints? God giving you a banner. Calling, li listen to us, listen to us, Sister Alicia. Just a few ago, you were a sinner. Short time, now here, you're a daughter. What's that? Fidel, what's that? How am I? What grace and high promotion that in Jesus I should be raised from sin. You kidding me, brother? My God, to royal honor, even reigning Lord with you. And he puts a banner over it. That's my son. That's my daughter. You can tell by the flag I have over. Jehovah Nisi. What's in the name? Oh, he loves the saints. Isn't that right? As I was studying this lesson, the tears kept welling up. I was like, God, how am I going to preach this? Lord, you've been almighty. Just a provider. Step by step in my life, I had no idea where I was going many times, and God just directed the path. And all of a sudden, you land safely. You didn't do that. God did it. Elohim did it. El Shaddai did it. Isn't that right, saints? Jehovah Nisi did it. Jehovah Jireh did it. 
whatever you need him to be. That's who he is for you. My God, thank you, Jesus. Let's look at something here, Proverbs 18. Proverbs 18. Huh. Oh, he'll be whatever we need him to be, saints. Yes. Proverbs 18. Sometimes, saints, God sends a revival. Isn't it right? And I'm not talking about all over the land. I'm talking about you. Individually, he'll send you a revival. Get into him. Jump in with both feet. See what he'll do. Listen, listen, saints. Refuse to sin. Re refuse to compromise. Refuse to look at something God ain't pleased with. Refuse all of it. Refuse to have a bad thought. Lord, I'm not letting that thought land in my mind. It's, it's, it's coming, but I'm not going to accept that about that brother, about that sister. Be a saint. See what he do. He'll revive you. That joy that you used to have years ago, he'll bring it back. Brother, I don't, I don't have the same joy. Then go get it. Be a saint. God will provide, saints. And when he's done providing and fixing you up, he'll put a banner over you. That's my daughter. That's my son. Isn't that right? He loves us for real. What's in the name? Proverbs 18, verse 10 says what? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Oh, what's in the name? What's in the name? I said the name of the Lord, saints of God. Have you been to your back against a solid wall and you say, all I can do is call on the name of the Lord and he's been a strong and mighty tower. Has he, have you experienced that? Your name, Lord God. Read it again. The name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong, is a strong tower. Strong tower. Come on. The righteous what do we runneth do? into the it. The righteous. We run in it. And what? And is safe. Look at that. Look at that. Do you believe that? Are you living it? Are you living proof that his name is a strong tower? Have you experienced it? My God, thank you, Lord. The name of the Lord is a, a strong, strong tower. tower. See, a strong tower, brother, when the wind blows, it won't fall over. A strong tower, you can run in it and you'll get safety. See, the Bible says, but you are dead. Brother Kenny, and your life now is hid with Christ in the tower. He can't, he can't just snatch you out. I, was, I remember seeing a, a, one of those animal things, uh, shows where, where the little pigs went running and they all got into their hole. And the lion was, he didn't know where they went. And he came around and all he did was, Roar! and they jumped out of their saving place. They jumped out of their hole and the lion was full. Don't let them scare you out of your strong tower. Lord, what, what, I hear winds out there telling me to come outside. I hear the winds blowing, and it feels like the tower is shaking, Lord. But God is saying, don't you leave. I'm a strong tower. Though the winds blow me, I'm not going anywhere, and you ain't going nowhere. Amen. I'm a strong tower. Strong tower. The righteous, we run in it. My God, that's what's in the name. And we are safe. I'm so glad, saints. I told you the other day, and we did it again. We was walking around the house. My sister, see, I'm so glad I'm saved. She said, oh, man, I'm glad I'm, just glad I'm saved. Do you want another life? Look at all we have. Look at all we have. Turn to Isaiah 53, 4 through 6. My God, thank you. 53, 4 through 6. Surely he hath borne our oh griefs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And carried our sorrows. Didn't he do this? Absolutely, surely. He carried our grief and he carried our sorrows, didn't he? 
Come on. Yet we did esteem him stricken. But when he did it, you know that when he came to you about salvation the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time, many of us turned our back on him. We look at his life and said, oh, I don't want to live that life. Do you remember that fight? Do you remember that fight? Because what you had to give up because you weren't willing to, to, to yield to Jehovah Nisi, the one who would provide. You weren't willing to do that yet, but we had the nerve to tell him that yet. Now that we say, we see the, the danger we were in. But before we were saved, we didn't see the type of danger we were in telling him to wait. We don't tell God to wait. I'm not ready yet. Who do we think we are? My God. He says, what now? Yet we did esteem him strictly. We esteemed him. When he looked at us and called us, all we did was say, look at him. He's stricken and smitten Mitten of God, of God and, and afflicted. Look at him. He's all messed up. He didn't know. Brother Kenny, come up here. We didn't know what he did was, now here's Jesus. He's all clean and beautiful. And then here's my sin. Here's my messed up life. Here, here I am with my whole bag of sin. And you know what Jesus did? Take my jacket. He said, I'll, I'll take that. He put his jacket, put it on. He put my jacket on. What I didn't realize when I said he was smitten. <laughs> when I said that he was afflicted. When I said that he looked messed up and ugly, it's because he was wearing my sins. That's why. My God. That's why he didn't, it don't look right. Because he was wearing my sin. And when we looked at him, he said, look at him, he's smitten. He's afflicted. God has struck him down. No, it wasn't. He was carrying my foolishness. That's why. My God. Thank you, my brother. And that's how we said he was. But we didn't know what was happening. And then what? But he was wounded. But what it was is he was wounded. For our transgressions. For our transgressions. Isn't that right? Yes. Everything he did was for us. He was bruised for our iniquities. Now I want you to hold up. For our, for our iniquities. Come on. The chastisement of our peace yes. was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Jehovah Rapha. The God that heals. Have you ever been sin sick? Maybe, maybe some people over there forgot their testimony. Let me come over here. Have you ever been sin sick? You needed to be healed. You actually thought you were okay. You thought you had it. And the devil all along was stringing us along. Here, here. Oh, you know, you know you're all right. Devil, what's that you putting around my neck? Shh, don't worry about that. What I want to do is choke the life out of you. But then Jehovah Rapha, the one who picked up our foolishness, came and rescued us, saints. And he healed us from sin sickness. Healed us. Not only from sin sickness, I could do more here. I got to hurry up and wrap it up. Psalms 34, 18, what does that say? He didn't only heal us from sin sickness. Psalms 34, 18. Sorry. That's okay. The Lord is nigh unto them. Is he nigh, saints? That Come are on. of a broken heart. Wait, wait, read that again. Read that again. The Lord is nigh yes. unto them. Unto them. That are of a broken oh, heart. Oh, have your heart ever been broken, saints? He's right there. Even in salvation, your heart can be broken. But he's right there. You gotta keep believing in him, saints. Come on. And save it such what? as be of a contrite oh, spirit. Oh, and he save us when we're broken. Doesn't he? You know what he's doing, saints? 
Read that again. What, what are you reading? 34, 18? 34, 18. Read it again. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Let me tell and you something. Save it such. Let me tell you something. You know what this is dealing with? Those who are broken emotionally. Those who are broken emotionally. Saints, we're human, and many of us have been through so much that when we come to him, he's a doctor in a sick room. Isn't he, saints? And then he evaluates us. You've been abused by people. You weren't treated well as a child. You've been through all these things, but Jehovah Rapha, the healer, he said, man, listen, listen, I know the exact thing you need. And then he will cleanse you from sin. Since Regina, right? He'll, he'll cleanse you. Then he'll say, now, now, I'm going to put you on this road to full recovery. Don't he do it? Jehovah Rapha, he'll do it, brother. So not only sin, not only emotional, Daniel 4, 34, what does that say? God, help us. Daniel 4, 34, what and, does that say? And at the end of the days, yes. I, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar came back to himself. I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto I heaven, lifted up my eyes and mine heaven. understanding returned look, unto look, look, me. Look, look, look. My understanding returned. Come on. And I blessed the Most High. And then I turned and blessed the Most High. And I praised and, and honored I praised him. And I honored that him. liveth forever. Yes. Whose dominion is an everlasting dominion. And his kingdom is from generation to generation. Nebuchadnezzar had lost his mind. Jehovah Rapha restored it. Saints, many of us have been through things and mentally we've been uh, uh, just whipped around. But if you can believe God, if you can believe him to put you on that road of recovery, he'll put people in your life. He'll put direction in your life and show you the road to recovery. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Physical, sad, emotionally. It doesn't matter. Last one, Psalm 103. Psalms 103. Starting at verse number two, please. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Saints, let me tell you something. In this bustle and hustle of life, it's so easy to go day to day and start living like we know what we're doing and stop leaning on him as much as we used to. Do you all know what I'm saying? I mean, we're not trying, but being human, we can float. We got to keep under our body and bring it. I depend on the Lord. Isn't that right? So he says what? Verse 2. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Is this, one, is this Psalm uh, 103, verse 2? Yes. Yes. Bless the Lord, yes. O oh my soul. And what? And forget Don't not. Don't forget the benefits of all God. His benefits. Come on, who does what? Who forgiveth he, all thine he, iniquities. Does he do it? Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Does God forgive us? Yes. He forgives all our iniquities and what? Who healeth all thy oh, diseases. Listen, physical. Mental, emotional, physical, sin, it don't matter. Jehovah Rapha will deliver. Isn't that right, saints? Don't go through this by yourself. Lean on God. What's in the name? Check out his name. What you need him to be, he has been. He'll show you, and he'll give you another name for himself. Now I'm your deliverer. I'm your rescuer. I'm your peace. Isn't that right? Oh, he'll do it. So we thank God tonight. What's in the name? God bless you tonight. And Lord willing, please come back Friday, 7 o'clock for a devotion, those who are here, and then 7.30 online. God bless you.